so I do just want to acknowledge that this is going to be a really short point of view driving video. Um, the traffic was pretty heavy around the time that I started driving. Uh, and on top of that, I don't currently actually have uh, the registration license plate or anything like that for the FD. I do have it insured, I just uh, am waiting on my custom plates to come in. So, short POV video around the neighborhood, out onto a very busy street, and then I kind of gave up. Um, but I hope you do enjoy what little video footage I was able to capture. Alright, test test. Hello again. So uh, again, this video is probably going to be at the end of the point of view drive, uh, this time for the FD. So just wanted to give a little bit more information about it. Uh, the FD, I just actually recently got it um, back in July. I think it was on July 22nd is when I paid for it. It was delivered sometime around July 25th. It was pretty quick, pretty quick turnaround. Um, this is my dream car, just off the rip dream car. Uh, right hand drive from Japan, so uh, had to get it from an importer. I did not deal with the importing myself. It was already in the States. Came over in March, I believe, and then I found it uh, you know, in the middle of July, and then within, as soon as I found the deal online, I was like, Okay, I have to have this car. It's uh, bone stock, nothing done to it whatsoever. Uh, engine bay, bone stock, suspension, everything. On the inside, it was, this is the reason I ended up feeling like, hey, I just have to get this car, is because the interior is untouched. And uh, for the price, I had never seen that before. Normally, on a lower priced FD, um, man, you just, you have gauges drilled into the, or taped onto the dash. You have, um, I mean, aftermarket stereo, whatever, that's fine. Uh, but still just like you have, you have something done to it, roll cage, aftermarket wheel, which is all great. Uh, you know, maybe one day I'll eventually replace some things and upgrade some things. But what I was looking for was just a bone stock, unadultered, FD and I was able to find it so it has about 56,000 miles on it it's a 1992 uh, so pretty much on the first production line uh, for the FD 3S um, 
there's honestly not much more to say about it. With the point of view driving, I was only able to keep it, you know, around the neighborhood just because I don't have tags for it yet. I don't have it registered. I have it insured. Um, I just haven't registered yet because I'm waiting for my custom plates. Can't wait for those to come in. Um, those are going to be dope. If I modify it, it's just going to be the body. Uh, right now, at least, that's my plan. It's just, you know, a nice kit, a nice wing, nice wheels, and some coilovers. That's pretty much all I want to do to it. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you when I see you.